If you're getting divorced and you and your spouse get along basically, is it a good idea, will it save you money and simplify things, if you go ahead and agree on how you're gonna split up all your debts and assets before you hire an attorney to help you? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney with an office in San Antonio, Texas, and I have helped people get divorced across the state of Texas for more than 35 years. And I can tell you that this is a big mistake that people often make. They work out an agreement with their spouse that makes sense to them. They think that they're dividing things fairly and they sign a written agreement before they hire an attorney and find out that there was all kinds of things they were entitled to under the law that they didn't realize. And there was things that they hadn't thought about. For instance, the retirement plan. You may not realize how the retirement plan can be divided or how much money the retirement plan is really worth. And that may make a total difference in the agreement that you made. Um, it may be that you weren't aware of some rights that you had to reimbursement for some pr separate property that you put into the house. Um, and, and that means that you just gave up you know, a few thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars that you were entitled to get off the top before the, the money was split in half. So there are many reasons that you may have a different division of property after you've talked to your attorney. Now, it's okay to talk about these things and kind of get a basic understanding of what you think you're gonna do, but don't make any promises. Don't put it in writing and sign it. Tell your spouse, this seems to be fair, but I need to talk to an attorney before I give my final consent or make any promises. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>